Uh, so from my perspective, the biggest copyright law question in the EU and in the US actually is currently is whether using these in copyright works to train generative AI models is copyright infringement or is covered by an exception in Europe, the TDM exceptions mostly, and in the US, the fair use doctrine. Now in Europe, these concerns made their way to the parliamentary discussions of the AI Act, which is a regulation, not a directive, and which is separate from copyright, and eventually to the compromise text adopted by the parliament. And it's this test, text that's gonna make its way to the trilogue to be negotiated with the council and the commission. Now, what's interesting in this version is that it actually directly mentions copyright. And although it exists separately and autonomously from the EU copyright rules, it does seem to try to exist in a sort of relation of complementarity with them. Now, what do I mean by this? The proposal defines generative AI models as types of foundation models, and it clearly applies to ChatGPT, Stable Diffusion, MidJourney, and the like. And it then attaches a number of specific obligations to them. So first, they must comply with a number of transparency obligations that are outlined elsewhere in the AI Act, and those relate to human AI interaction. So not super interesting for us. Second, when training, designing, or developing these models, providers must ensure adequate safeguards against the generation of content that would be in breach of union law. And then there's a bunch of other language. We'll get probably to that later on, but this would also apply to copyright infringing content. And in my view, as I see it, it would likely require some sort of filtering measures at the output level. Third, generative AI providers have to document and make publicly available a sufficiently detailed summary of the use of training data protected under copyright law. So this is an obligation that's saying that the input or training stage of generative AI models and would in theory help copyright holders to control use of their works as input to these models. So I think as a whole, these changes sort of go in the right direction and could have some positive effects, especially if they're improved during the trilogue stage. But my fear is that as currently worded and depending on they are interpreted, they have some issues, right? The documentation obligations will prove either difficult to comply or ineffectual. And the safeguards obligation might require development of content ID-like tools and even lead to overfilter. 